Hello and welcome to my first tutorial. This is Miguel Barroso to show you how to use the compositor. This is really a beginner level video. The idea is to use the compositor, excuse me, blur slash glowing effect. In this simple scene of these very simple bricks, added a glossy material, high gloss, and then added simply a emission at maybe strength two along the edges. And then the sphere here, it's as high gloss as it can possibly be. And then I read it, uh, excuse me, I added a red admission to the lights. So the point of this tutorial is to learn how to create that effect. And here's our scene. Let's get started. All right, let's get this down. And under the materials, I want to show you what you have to check off for the red glow material. Right in this area, you have to click the pass index and give it a particular number. I like to click it off one. It's just it's easier to track. Okay, this way we can actually do the editing in the compositor. Now let's go to the, the render tab and I'll show you two things that I clicked. Under the light path tab, under max, normally that's eight. I tick that off to four. You don't really need anything after four and it'll speed up the rendering process. Okay, we can just shut that down. And under layers, the layer tab, you also want to check off the material index. That'll allow you to use the pass index that we checked off just a few moments ago. Okay, so now we're going to render our scene. And it should take just a moment. Again, we're at only at 10 samples, so it'll just speed up this whole process. Just about there. And I also set the whole world to be, in essence, as dark as possible. Okay, so compositor. Let's add a viewer node. Okay, yellow to yellow. There we go. Okay. And as you can see here, we have the MA or index MA. I'm going to go into the converter tab, ID mask, drag here to here. And again, it's color coded, so let's try to make it as easy as possible. Index one, again, to match the pass index of the red glow that we want over here and go to color mix check this to add okay and we're gonna drag the alpha here to FAC and then the image is gonna go to the bottom and very importantly gonna check this and bring this all the way down to black as dark as possible okay now we're going to add a filter, blur, change that to fast Gaussian, and drag this to the top. And we're going to have to, let's duplicate this, Alt D. Here we'll go to the bottom. And as you can see here, what's being lit up is only what's going to be affected. All right, image. Original image to the top. And then we'll bring this over to the compositor so that it'll show up in the final render. If you don't, it won't show up there. Okay, so let's take a look. We hit relative, and go two and two. So there's your blur effect. Very simple. Again, Actually, excuse me, in the uh, in the render itself, the, f the final render that I showed you in the beginning, it was on the aspect uh, connection was on X. Let's try 3 and 3. I think that's where we were. That's just about where we were. And if you want to just see the action of what you're doing without having the rest of the background, just add in another viewer. Bring this down here. So you're just seeing what you need to work with. Again, if you click this viewer, you'll see everything that you're working with. And again, since we have going to the compositor, all the work that we've done, when you go back to the default screen, will show up there. Very simple. I hope this was quick and easy to follow. Again, here's a picture of the final render. I rendered this at 500 samples. This is kind of my goal, to make them fast, short, sweet, and to the point. Any questions, please leave a comment. Thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you very much for your time. Hopefully you learned something. All right, have a great day.